Thank you for tuning in to another week of Bella TV. I'm your host, Danita Chantel, and today we have a special guest, William DeMeo. He is a Brooklyn-born actor, director, and writer, and you may have seen him in The Sopranos, uh, First Kill, as well as Analyze That. Hello, William. How are Hi. you? How are you, Danita? <laughs> it's great to have you here. I'm very happy to be here in Times Square. I'm very happy to be here. Well, I wanted you to talk to us about your latest project, with John Travolta, Gotti. But first, let's talk about how you got started in acting. Well, I first started with a small part in uh, Bronx Tale, which was a classic movie, which Robert De Niro directed. And I got to meet uh, Robert De Niro and uh, I, that's how it first started. And then I winded up working with him and analyzed that, working across from him, playing the character Al Pacino and getting to work across from him. So that's kind of how it all began. So you Bronx started off Tale. at the top, obviously. <laughs> I don't know. I only had a couple of lines, so it wasn't that much of the top. But it was, it was at least a work getting to work with someone who I, from a kid, admired more than anything. I mean, Robert De Niro of of, of all people. So to you know, I was young, but to meet him and to you know be a part of that movie was amazing. Wow, especially being from Brooklyn, hometown yeah. guy, making everybody proud. Now yes. talk about it. Talk about some of your roles, as such as uh, the role you played on The Sopranos. Well, Jason Molinaro, that was that was a great show. It was it was it, I didn't have a very big role, but I was in a bunch of episodes and I got to work alongside of James Gandolfini and such great people. And, you know, Tony Sirico and Edie Falco being part of such a such a, a classic of The Sopranos, which was amazing, amazing feeling just to be part of, you know, everyone on a Sunday night was locked into HBO. Everyone. Yeah, it was the first, I think it was the first show that really cemented how TV shows became. That was the first one where everyone really, I think it paved the way for the Breaking Bads and the other shows like that. Yeah, it set the tone for everything. Yes, absolutely. Wow. So now you're in a role alongside John, I mean, excuse me, Gotti, alongside John Travolta. Talk to us about your role as Sammy. Yeah, Sammy the Bull. Uh, yes, uh, that's been great. It's uh, the movie comes on DVD on September 25th, and right now it's on video on demand, iTunes. It was in the theaters in June, and it was a great, I had a great time working on that movie, and working alongside of John Travolta was more than a dream come true, more than anything. And Sammy was a character who was the betrayer, the betrayal, like, so it, it was, it was an interesting role to play because he was really tough on the streets, but yet then he had the whole thing on the, witness stand where it was a different type. You've you seen him in a different light at that point. Mm -hmm. Now we've seen different adaptions of Gotti on film and TV. What is different about this film of Gotti? What is different about this, and this is what I try to explain is to, to people that sometimes like have their own thing about this vision about this. This is told by John Gotti Jr. So it's told by the family. Mm -hmm. So if that's not accurate enough for people. I don't know what could be more accurate. It's told by his son. So uh, it shows the other side, the father and son relationship, which we have never seen in a Gotti movie. It's about the father and son. It's about the other side to Gotti, which was his family life as well. Uh, I think some people are expecting it to be people getting killed every two seconds and just it to be about the whole mob thing, but it was, it showed the other side, the family, the mob stuff is there, but it's also the, the choices that, that they had to make and, and how John Gotti Jr., what he went through following his father's footsteps. Mm. Now, did you get to meet a lot of the family members? Oh, of course. Prepare for yeah. that role? Yeah. John, John Gotti Jr. is a very good friend of mine. Yes, absolutely. And, and they're, they're, they're very great people. I, I, Angel Gotti and Victoria, and Peter, the whole family, they're, they're, they're really good people. And I'm, 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 I call them friends. I'm proud to call them friends. And listen, their father paid for his sins deeply. So people that think that this is glorified, I don't understand how anything could be glorified when the man in the movie, we show him handcuffed to a bed, dying of cancer. So where's the glory? That's not glory. John paid for his sins and he uh, took it like a man. And went to jail for the rest of his life and, and died a pretty horrible death in prison right. with cancer, with throat cancer. Wow. 
Well, you delve really deep into your roles as an actor and you're exercising your chops as a director and writer. Talk to us about the latest project that you just worked on. Well, I did a TV series now called The Neighborhood, which is, I felt like it was time to show how, where I was from, Brooklyn in the 80s, how unique the area I was, I grew up in because that, at that time, the mob was very big influence. They could like shut down the city at that point. It was very big influence and all five families had a strong hold on the neighborhood. And I wanted to show how it was back then in, in Bensonhurst and, and we also touch on Borough Park and just how it was in the 80s when there were no cell phones, when you had beepers, when, you, you know, it was just a different time and the way people dressed and the music and just more the socializing on stoops and talking in the streets, kind of like how it was, which I kind of feel like, I think the world misses now a little yeah, bit, to be honest. Essence, yeah, I mean, I, and we show all of that and it's, it's very deep, very deep, and it's very realistic look about how it was back then. I'm very proud of it. We shot the first two episodes. We just brought on a very well-known producer, which we're gonna announce in the next week or two. And we have it with networks now, and we're gonna get back into shooting shortly and finish the first season. I shot the first two episodes. Like I said, I'm very proud of that project. Uh, we're very proud of you as well. Thank now, you. Now, you've worked alongside John Travolta um, in movies with Robert De Niro, Billy Crystal, and Bruce Willis. What was that like for you? Like, just a young Brooklyn kid, working with some of the elite in Hollywood. I mean, that's a big it's, deal. It's, it's really a good feeling to, more than anything, it's to, to be accepted because we know how hard this industry is. And at some point when you kind of break through a little bit and you get to work with people on that caliber, it, it's an amazing feeling. And they're all great, they're all legends. I mean, from James Gandolfini to Robert De Niro, to Billy Crystal, to Bruce Willis to John Travolta. They're all legends. They're all amazing. Wow, awesome. Now, talk to us about this denim line that you have. Well, I should say clothing line that you have coming up has a little bit of denim. Yeah, that, yeah this is one of the shirts called Brooklyn Brand, which is, you could get our clothes on on www.mybrooklynbrand.com and our clothes are in a bunch of stores now. And the, the reason behind that is that people from Brooklyn are very proud very proud Brooklynites yeah. and Brooklyn <laughs> spreads everywhere and people are wearing our shirts, ladies, men, hats. We're, we're, we're doing well with it, thank God. And like I said, people are just, they want to rep Brooklyn. They want to rep Brooklyn. Now, what is the name of the line again? It's called Brooklyn Brand. Brooklyn Brand. That's All right. It. Well, you're doing so many wonderful things, expanding as an artist and enjoying your creative process. And uh, are there any, any advice that you would give for people that want to start in acting? Well, the thing is, like I, I said from the beginning, my my dad asked me what my backup plan was. He said, do you have a backup plan with this? And I said, uh, there is no backup plan because I was completely, completely driven. And in my opinion, if you decide to attempt to do this, then you have to be fully, completely all in, completely, fully committed. complete commitment because it's so hard as it is. So if you're doing it kind of half, it's tough and it's hard because as you're starting to make a living is is tough so you got to kind of make that decision and thank god i had good parents that helped me and and it started to work out and i'm, I'm very proud of and and i just think that people should just go for their dreams and follow your dreams and believe in yourself more than anything one because no one else will believe in you as much as you will believe in yourself well, thank you so much. We're so happy that you're here. And are um, you going to come back? Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> All right. We'd love to have you back. And thank you, guys, you if you want to check out more things that Bella has covered, please go online and check out denim-days.com. And uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to all things BellaNYMag.com. So like, share, and subscribe to BellaNYMag.com. Until next time.